Hello hoppers and other humans of the internet who have undoubtedly searched this exact issue. Uh, if you're anything like me, you're having a problem where you want to leave two colors in your video, but you're only able to find a way to leave one. Either that or do something very meticulous and go through and mask everything out so that you can leave two colors. Uh, that doesn't really work very well. Uh, here's the solution I've found for myself um, in Premiere Pro CC. Now if you have an older version of, of Premiere, um, what you would do to leave two colors would be to drag in a chroma key, which is missing now, drag it into your uh, clip uh, and, and mask out exactly what color you do want, uh, drag in another, mask out another color, uh, and then invert the alpha mask, which would actually just leave the colors that you did want. And then you could overlay that on a monochromatic um, version of your, of your clip and you'd be golden. That would be the colors that you'd have left. Uh, if you would just want to leave one color, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this layer off and turn this one on because I've already got the effect on it. Um, and if I turn it on, you can see that I've left green on there. It's called leave color, but it only works for one color at a time with a bit of spill tolerance and everything. Um, I could drag that up and down, pick a different color, but you're limited to one color and it's very difficult to do anything other than that. So I'm going to undo that actually so that we don't lose everything here um, and go back to my actual solution. So if we click on our top clip here, we're going to have to have one on top and one on bottom. Um, that's really more of a personal choice. Um, I can have this bottom one disabled but as you can see it's missing a bit of the punch uh, and that's going to be the second step of what we do so first of all on this on this clip right here if we go into our color uh, workspace um, a bunch of stuff shows up don't worry about the uh, color scopes or anything like that we're going to look over here at the Lumetri color panel um, and there's lots of things that show up there's basic correction creative curves color wheels and vignette um, you can do as much as you want with this but what we're focusing on right now is on curves go to hue saturation curve and you have this right here so I've got this already done um, if I were to fiddle around with it you'd be able to see the colors changing uh, you can see the green getting brighter and dimmer if I were to um, add another one right here you'd see blue probably coming on the floor and stuff a reflection of the sky and everything uh, yep so if and if I drag more up the the wood and the floor would start showing up and we get all that so I'm gonna undo all of that um, and show you what it looks like on a fresh clip. So here we've got a circle that's dead in the center. Um, that means that it is at 100 saturation or just regular uh, saturation. This is what the original clip actually looked like. Um, my first step was to drag in the entire circle towards the center and then add points along this curve just by clicking uh, where I wanted colors to show up. So if I wanted green, uh, green has a pretty high range of uh, color uh, or just there's just a lot of green that we can see so I, I had to make a pretty large bulb here for it to all fit in I did get a kind of weird uh, yellowy color on on this gun but that's actually pretty much what it looks like in the game anyway uh, minus the gold on on this thing so um, and I obviously wasn't gonna mask it out just to make it look better uh, <laughs> it's a video game video come on so um, on top of that I'm gonna turn this one back off and go back to the one that I, I actually like um, on top of that, we're going to change a couple other things. Let's go back to the editing workspace now and look at our f effect controls for this clip. We want the blend mode to be set to color rather than normal, uh, which w uh, and that will let us have another clip underneath it that gives it a bit more contrast and everything. So on this one, if we go back to color, the color workspace, I mean, um, I haven't done anything to curves or anything like that, but I have added a creative look to it. I've used mo I've used this one specifically, the monochrome Kodak 5205 Fuji 3510. doesn't really matter which one you use. It doesn't even need to be black and white because all of the color information will be coming from this top layer. So I could use a color one. I didn't want to take the gamble of uh, having less control over my blacks and whites though. So I went for one that was specifically made um, for uh, making black and white very punchy rather than, you know, going to, let's see, gold heat. Yeah, see, I'm getting a bit blown out now. That's actually what that look looks like anyway. Uh, it is a bit blown out. You can see the preview of it right here. But I wanted one that would, uh, uh, that was actually meant for black and white, which is what I was doing. So, oop, I've picked on the wrong one now. There we go. So this one I thought just worked really well. Um, I didn't actually change the intensity or faded film or anything. I did bump up the sharpness because I knew this was a compressed video and it was going to be more compressed on YouTube. I wanted it to keep uh, defined lines and, uh, and, and just add a bit again I'm gonna use the word again a bit more punch uh, to it and you can see it right there it's, it's actually doing quite a bit if you drag sharpness down I, I, I just wouldn't recommend that by the way uh, anyway uh, that is all I've, I did uh, to create this effect it did take a little while to process once I made it um, let's see if I try to click play now oh, let's break it. Yeah! 
that's not too bad um especially with with having changed sharpness just now that, that would def definitely throw it for a loop for a minute uh anyway i hope that you found this helpful uh please leave a like and comment um with anything you have to say about it uh and until next time hasta ventana bye hoppers boom 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 boom